So here we are, uh, round two. I don't know where the uh, timer went off at. We're at Arborist Avenue up at Oxus Place in Seattle. We're going through some pamphlets on the library shelf. These are not uh, considered books, most of them, but this one is about the Seattle Green Gardening Program. Uh, I guess I should know what date this was. Uh, it went for a few years. Uh, it was 2012. They had all kinds of handouts for the Green Gardening Program uh, and uh, several speeches. I took a lot of notes on nursery stock, plant amnesty, did presentations, Seola Gardens. So that's a, a conference proceedings. <clears throat> Here's a record of a decision. This is the uh, spotted owl. Wow, this was ever a big deal. This was an amazingly uh, consequential report here. Whew. I guess you know that around 19, was it 89? Let's check it out. This one says 94. Okay, so it wasn't 89. Anyway, there was a lot of stink about it. This is a fat one. Forest Service put out this book that said that uh, the owl was threatened and uh, all hell broke loose. Here's the Arboretum Bulletin for uh, University of Washington, 1992. The UW uh, gets a lot of money, so they, uh, they have always put out uh, slick stuff. And uh, I know a couple of the people that have been... Here's Clay Anto Antio. So he's, uh, he's now a uh, uh, Washington, uh, Seattle Department of Planning, uh, Planning and Development. Here is a, a report from 1995, the proceedings at the Center for Urban Horticulture at the University of Washington about the decline of uh, uh, Pacific Madrone. And there was an organization called Save Seattle Madrones. Um, that tree is touchy. It cannot handle any kind of uh, soil disturbance. Okay, here's a, here's a book about how to make lumber. I don't know why I had this, but uh, this is the industry rag. You can tell, oh wow, this whole thing is gonna fall over. Here's some more industry stuff. Agricultural Handbook number 101 from 1956. How to do the best thing with the trees is chop it up. There you go. Here's the Washington Big Tree Program. And uh, this is at uh, University of Washington. I would imagine that Van Pelt was part of this. Yes, he wrote this book. Robert Van Pelt, uh, also author of uh, Forest Giants of the Pacific Coast, and several, several other books, including a, a good two, two book series on how to describe old growth forests. Southern Trees. Southern Trees was a software program in 1993 put out by Ed Gilman and he, uh, well, I don't, actually I don't, yeah, Ed Gilman, and he, um, he put out this searchable database on a disk with really good photos and you were able to look at um, uh, where the tree functioned best. So here's a 2018 Kubota Garden Foundation uh, annual report. Um, here's Don Brooks. Don was one of my uh, mentors. Boy, Don taught me a lot. He allowed me to actually prune trees in Kubota Garden, a 1927 uh, Japanese American garden. Okay, here's a calendar from Westbur, 2018. There are some of our buddies. Here's Matt Beatty. Uh, uh, Westbur just did a fantastic uh, 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 marketing program, and uh, so that was the 2018 calendar, kind of a pinup calendar. All right, here's the ISA's catalog from from 2007. Uh, 
uh, the st kind of stuff that they sold were, was uh, a lot of uh, software, a lot of ANSI stuff. Uh, it was done largely by mail. This was kind of as the internet was transitioning in. Um, and a lot of it just went straight over to online. And of course, you know, for the people watching this, there was this thing called mail order. Uh, this was before computers. Okay, here's uh, this. I kept this because Newt Foppa uh, got this job sandblasting Mount Rushmore, and uh, he's got uh, he's got some pictures in here of him, and he also got uh, got a job sandblasting the Space Needle in Seattle. And uh, let's see if I can. Anyway, um, the Smithsonian uh, and I, here's, here's Newt in the yellow hat on the right. Newt um, climbed in the Bogachiel Spruce in 2002 with us. And um, here is, uh, now this is a, this is a, a medical assessment for aerial rescue. I wonder who, who put this up. I do not see a date or an author on this. This is early on. Here's the Treehouse Conference, Aerial Rescue, the pre-conference workshop. Uh, let's see who put this one together. Virtual uh, video, uh, visual tree assessment. This is pretty darn uh, comprehensive for Michael Garnier. He obviously had some good people. I was one of the people that helped uh, do the training for carpenters who were building tree houses. And another, another document that does not have uh, Ascension Group. This is Dave Stice. There you go. Wow, Dave, did you ever do a fantastic job. Dave has always been very medically oriented as uh, kind of like an EMT. Here's, uh, here's a map of the uh, Chittenden uh, locks. This is, a, this is a garden in Seattle, uh, which was built in 1916. This is a 1976 uh, guide. It, there's the map. And a lot of these trees are some of the most mature ornamental plant material in Seattle. And I imagine they're trying to get rid of some of those trees by now. Here's one, Hugo Winkenwerger. Now, Hugo and Charles Pack had the, uh, the foreword here. Hugo has a building named after him at the University of Washington. This one, uh, 1928. I have a whole uh, collection of books uh, on forestry. Here's one, Seattle Weekly, Goodbye Green, 2016, Adiel Kaplan. I'm in here. Ha <laughs> ha! So Adiel actually had a couple, um, a couple uh, uh, interviews with me and a, a cast turn ball, a bunch of other people. Um, knowing your trees, this was the old standard before there was anything. 51 Tree Edition, this is from 1978. Uh, this was out of uh, American Forests. At the time, it was called American Forestry Association. Here's one from Utah. Uh, probably Fred Baker, Nebraska Forest Service, Rocky Mountain Office of the U.S. Forest Service. Um, so basically, it's a, it's a regional urban forestry guide to uh, tree planting community tree education workshops describing what happened in each state and uh, pretty meager with a listing of the staff. So thank you to the feds for that. That was actually pretty important. Save Our Urban Trees Citizen Action Guide was put out by the American Forestry Association in 2000. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me they don't have a... Okay, now that looks like... Um, Uh, the illustrator uh, was uh, from the city of Vancouver, Washington. Talks about forming an action team, the A-Team. Article by Gary Mall. Another article by Gary Mall. 
uh, Gary Mall basically put out this magazine. Fantastic. Steve Sanford out of uh, Cleveland, uh, who uh, Paul Reese used to work for. And, uh, oh, excuse me, Cincinnati with uh, Mr. Butcher, who always would um, protest when people called us uh, butchers if we did a lousy job. What do we got time-wise here? I think my, my, I think my, uh, my tripod's unstable. Okay, there we go. We might have missed a lot of that stuff. Okay, let's keep going. We're at, uh, we're at 11 minutes in. Here's the New Jersey uh, Division of Parks and Forestry, Protection and Care of the Urban Forest. Uh, looking for the date. I don't really know very many people except for uh, Steve Chisholm and, uh, and Mark Chisholm. Um, who was involved there? It's a pretty beefy publication. I imagine the late 70s or 80s. If I wanted to, I could go through there. Here's one from Mike Reichenbach, Forestry in Illinois. If we look on page 96, um, uh, this was an uh, overview, not just urban forestry. Okay, this is uh, 1993, down at the uh, Eugene, Oregon. Uh, conference on tree board networking and visioning. Here's um, Oregon Urban and Community Forestry Council, of which I was a founding member. Here's the Education and Outreach Committee, Pete Sada, the Arborist Tree Service, who later became famous, involved in an immigration uh, dispute. There's Phil Frazee, and um, we... Uh, <clears throat> We got a lot of stuff going in the state of Oregon. Uh, here's one from 1993. Al Takini is one of the inaugural members of the Oregon Urban and Community Forestry Council. This was a board meeting that we held in 1993 in Sweet Home. And it's basically the agenda. Here's a statewide habitat for humanity in the state of, of Oregon. And uh, I'm listed in Grants Pass Habitat, along with Bob Repine, who was our state legislator. And we, uh, there's Pete Sada. Later he changed his name to Seta. Um, so Habitat for Humanity was uh, President Jimmy Carter's retirement project to build homeless people's homes at low income. Here's a 1993 agenda for the Oregon Urban and Community Forestry Council. Uh, of which I was the vice president of that. Uh, and then here's the report. This is a fantastic early report. This has to be uh, in the 80s um, of all of the urban forestry coordinators of each state in the United States. Here's one, um, 1993. Uh, State of Oregon, Oregon Urban and Community Forestry Council. This came out from Kristen Ramstead. Thank you, Chris. Boy, she, she was a, a diehard. She stayed with it for decades, organizing in the state of Oregon, getting uh, support from the Department of Forestry, who didn't want to do it. Here's the University of Washington up in Seattle. Uh, this one is from 1993, the calendar of events. Their outreach called Urban Horticulture Presents. They had a, they have a facility called the Center for Urban Horticulture. Here's Davies blur, blurb on TreeKeeper, their their proprietary tree inventory software. Okay, here's the, here's another report from that meeting in Sweet Home with Howard Dew, who's the local uh, urban forestry guy in Sweet Home, Oregon, that I attended. Um, then we had uh, uh, Kennewick, Washington, 1994. Uh, Jim Flott was a big part of that. Thank you, Jim. Street Tree 
planting program in 1990. Wow, this is uh, Lads Conservation District. I really don't know where Lads, the city of Lad. It's got to be the. Um, it's got to be the uh, state of Oregon. Here's one, another Inland Northwest Community Trees Conference, 1994, Kennewick, Washington, organized by a joint program, Washington State and Oregon State and Idaho State. That's fantastic, along with the uh, Pacific Northwest Chapter ISA. Community Tree Management Institute, Paul Reese's uh, educational uh, arm where he, um, he gave a lot of people fantastic, comprehensive in, in introduction to how to work for their city uh, uh, tree program. Parks departments, planning departments, utility departments. Here's the 1993 Tree Board Networking and Visioning Conference Report. Here is the Trees for Oregon Communities, uh, 1992, uh, in search of the perfect tree with a chart fantastic. Here's uh, Steve Pearl, Joe Carley, Terrell Collier, Phil Frazee, and Joe Limp put this one together. And uh, here is a brochure by the Oregon Department of Forestry with Chris Ramstead on the cover. There you go. She finally got some recognition. Diagram by Shigo, how to choose an arborist, and uh, where to contact the Arbor Day Foundation in the state of Oregon arborists. Now this one is Gordon Mann. Uh, Gordon Mann um, has Mann and Associates from 1989. This was in uh, Public Works magazine. Uh, boy, did, did Gordon ever um, light a fire under those guys to uh, stop the uh, uh, root pruning so these trees wouldn't fall over anymore. Here's, oh wow, here's the National Arborist Association Oregon chapter. Oh, yeah, Bob Felix came. He stood about two inches away from me with his cigar in his mouth and uh, uh, got, a, got a nice little, little uh, regional group going. And uh, talking about the J. Frank Schmidt Nursery. Um, bunch of nurseries. Wow. Even got paid advertisements in. Oh, this is the Oregon Association of Nurserymen uh, magazine called Digger. And OAN was actually one of the most um, uh, well-funded uh, uh, nurserymen's association. This was a fantastic publication. This is the uh, University of California leaflet. And the, it was the Department of Forestry. And... Uh, this this was very widely disseminated, and it says Kohler was the author, Hunt, Lobel, and Jim Geiger. Oh, there we go. Jim was a uh, buddy. 19, 1983. This 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 document ran supreme for decades. It was really the best uh, information that you could get about. Um... Oh, here's here's Headwaters. Okay, Headwaters was a uh, environmental organization now called Siskiyou Wildlands, Klamath Siskiyou Wildlands, um, and uh, I was a member. I invited Jim Johns to go on an airplane ride with me, along with uh, half a dozen other uh, arborists, and we wanted to fly over the the uh, the uh, sugarloaf timber sale. Jim Johns was. Uh, honored by being a uh, ISA honorary member while he was an Indiana congressman. But then they came after him and got him de-elected. They, they voted him out. Here's Tree Climber. Now, earlier you saw uh, in a different video, Tree Climber magazine. This It changed its name. Now it's called Tree Climbing in Fall of 1994 by Tree Climbers International. Um, and... Uh, I was pretty involved with their website until we did the tree sitter extraction program, which you won't really uh, hear me talking about very much. Uh, Abe Winters has an article in here. Uh, New Tribe has advertisements in here. Bernard Spini, 
uh, did a little article in here and um, boy 1994 was a glory day for for uh, uh, rock climbing here's one um, street trees for cities I wished I had the um, original version of this 1947 University of Oregon with the League of Oregon Cities planning bulletin number one Wow I, I should I, I should actually go get one of these fine can somebody send me this if you have an original and I have a lot of people that are really interested in street trees they always ask me stuff how to do a street tree inventory from the National Arbor Day Foundation this is at, uh, Jim Fazio did this one um, probably after uh, um, this is bulletin number 23, doesn't say the year. Jim Fazio um, uh, was a very prolific uh, researcher, organizer, and urban forestry activist. Not seeing the date on this one. Another Tree City USA bulletin. Don't talk trees, John Rosenau. Bulletin number eight. And bullet number eight kind of tells you what year it was. But they didn't want us to know. Nice little videography with some ugly tree pictures. Okay, here's a industry rag, West Coast Lumberman's Association, talking about all the trees that you can cut down and make boards out of. Western Red Cedar. Um, grading how to buy western red cedar lumber according to how the milling process went uh oh now here's one that i borrowed i never returned it says please return i remember that 1984 um photographed in 1991 so somebody uh, george miller committee on insular Interior and Insular Affairs at the House of Representatives uh, in 92 report blasts forest service reforestation failures with a lack of information on timber inventory. Keeping our promises, George Miller was a member of Congress. Um, the loss of accountability. Oh my goodness. Report by the Committee on Interior and Insular Affairs at the U.S. House of Representatives in June 15th, 1992. Uh, with quite a bit of information about what was happening in Oregon, especially on the Siskiyou National Forest, and talking uh, about an indictment of failure to monitor. Wow, this is an amazing, groundbreaking publication. First time the government ever uh, really um, started blasting and that eventually did lead up to the listing of the spotted owl next on the list we've got um p and w isa pacific northwest trees magazine from 2011. Uh, this was uh, a big a big year up by roots by jim uh, came out this is Robin Williams, uh, Robin Morgan's book. Uh, she produced this under contract with the city of, uh, with the state of Washington, Oregon. The technical guide and the introductory guide. So these two documents together really were uh, quite um, useful for us to lobby and they were free and I gave out dozens of these. Trees Magazine, actually this is just an informational panel from Portland General Electric, Dave Lake put this out, and uh, Dave Lake um, was a pioneer in uh, utility forestry, so thanks for doing all that, and he was very free with his information. He had really uh, a budget for art, and it was well uh, presented. American Forestry Association, now it's called American Forests, so here is a Plant, plant Provide Protect and Prune, which I still use that, um, but I don't see the date on here. 
drawing, drawing by Shigo, how to plant trees. The tree book from Puget Sound, Power and Light. Very good book. Uh, it's basically a species list of dwarf trees. Here's Oregon Department of Forestry. Um, Doug Decker worked on this one. Uh, this might have been while Paul Reese was coming in. But, um, yeah, Doug Decker. And Brian Ballou. Oh, Brian used to write for this. He did a really nice article on old growth trees. Here's Don Willkie's speech, Our Urban Forests. Thanks, Don. Boy, did Don ever um, uh, light a fire under my bottom. Yes. Looking back. Stream Enhancement Initiative. Oregon Department of Forestry. Okay. This is the proceedings for the 4th Urban Forestry Conference, Make Our Cities Safe for Trees. And I actually attended this one. Uh, this was a 1990. And um, this is a fantastic, um, very complete book put together by Neil Sampson, Gary Mall. Uh, Don Willicke did the uh, moderation, the opening invocation. Wow, these are just fantastic. Uh, 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 reports on the transition from letting every city do their own management of tree programs. Here's Phil Barker. Wow. He was out of Berkeley. Phil was a, a researcher for the Forest Service. He did actual uh, growth plots out there. Uh, oh boy, I'm losing it here. Okay, here, now we're into some books. Here's The Meaning of Trees by Hagendorfer. Let's see if we can come up with a date on this one. Yes, the date. 2005. The Olympic Rainforest. Ruth Kirk. An Ecological Web. Jerry Franklin co-authored this. Some of your nicer photos. University of Washington Press, 1992. Thanks, Jerry. Chris Mazur. Okay, now Chris was um, uh, one of my personal heroes. He actually fought the Forest Service. Started a union of Forest Service employees who felt that they were um, downtrodden. This was 1988. This described how rot is uh, extremely valuable in the forest, whereas previously rot had, was just described as decrepitude. Here's Cass Turnbull's book. Took her 20 years to write this book. Uh, I did a lot of work with Cass. Um, some with, some against. She really had a hard time getting involved with lobbying, and eventually she came around. Here's Don Blair's books, uh, the Sierra Moreno Mercantile Company catalog and price list, uh, which the price list was supposed to come out every year, and it, and it didn't. <laughs> but Don writes about um, um, uh, expanded uh, uh, kind of instructions for how to, take, how to use these tools to take care of trees. Here's the Natural Areas Journal. I don't know this one. Natural Areas Association. Let's see what we got on it date-wise here. Table of Contents. July 2011. Sunset pruning. Ubiquitous. Are we coming on time? Yeah. Yeah, we're we got 29 minutes. Okay, so that's it. Let's uh let's uh let's 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 try this. Whoa, look at that! Hey, there's a human here. So, <laughs> you people have looked at my bibliography. Let's keep going. We got uh, hundreds more p uh, publications here. So, uh, that's it for us.